Good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Um, it's a rainy one here in Tennessee. Um, seems like every other day I say that, but that's Tennessee weather. So, um, anyway, this afternoon I thought, um, because I slept in today and, um, been, uh, doing some praying and just, um, not been a Martha today as much, yeah, as much, um, but just been really digging in and listening, uh, just listening. And, um, the remote control died to the TV, um, and the apps that are on our phone for remote control, they're not picking up either. So I took that as God saying, it's, you're not watching the word. You're not going to get a supplement today, a vitamin, um, which I call, you know, the videos. Um, you're going to dig into my word and, and, you know, it was just like the video of the hunger pains. I was evidently having hunger pains. I needed rest, so he gave that to me. And uh, praise God for victory over uh, insomnia because um, I'm praying for some very special people for that same victory. Um, now, to start this uh, off first, let me grab my coffee because I've been uh, without it. Yeah. And, um, today's devotion, April the 9th, 2022, or so they say we're in, um, is called Precious Moments. And the the verse that we're going with today is Proverbs 3, 5. <clears throat> and I know you guys know that one. It is, trust in the Lord. I'm working on my memory verses, so let me try this without looking down, Okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And then it goes on to say, lean not on your own understanding, but in all ways, acknowledge him oh, and he will direct your paths. Okay. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. So, okay. Here we go. We're going to read this. And then I've got a couple things I want to mention to you guys and just go over real quick. I'm not going to take up a lot of time because I know the lengthy videos are just, uh, and nobody likes to sit through 20 minutes of some chick just, you know, that loves the Lord in his, yeah. So here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Only God can make us more than we are. And he often uses critical faith moments, faith moments in our life to accomplish that job. Looking back, can you name one special moment that has defined your life? Many of us will probably have multiple answers to that, but I'd love to see you guys call me to that question. Um, looking back, can you name one special moment that has defined your life, a faith moment. Perhaps it was a day that you gave your life to the Lord. Perhaps it was when you trusted God at a crucial time when trust is the hardest thing for us to walk, guys. Moses experienced his defining moment <clears throat> at the burning bush. David experienced his when Samuel anointed him king of Israel. Esther's defining moment, it came when she risked her life to save the Jewish people. Peter's defining moment, well, that came when Jesus called him to become a fisher of men. And Paul always referred to the Damascus Road experience of Acts 9 and his defining moment. And I urge you guys to read Acts 9 and Paul's defining moment on the Damascus Road. You know, maybe you're facing a defining moment in your life right now. You're either in a crisis, a sickness, maybe, that you're at a crossroads. You can either trust God and press on by faith, or you can lean on your own understanding 
And let me ask you, how's your own understanding worked in the past? That's the question I asked myself. How has my thoughts helped me and my plans helped me in the past? They don't go so well for me anyway. Or can you lean on your own understanding and go on your way, your own way? God's word gives us trusted counsel. Put your trust in the Lord your God and you will, you will, you will, you will endure. He says in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, take the road less traveled. Guys, take the road less traveled. We've got to. I know that it's hard. To trust in the Lord with all of our hearts. But that's the road less traveled. That's the people that will stand in the gap for others when they have nothing but needs of their own. When we trust in the Lord, it is knees shaking, hands trembling, scary. It is scary. Because we don't even trust people. I don't. It is so hard for me to trust people. Especially as a female. I, I'm not saying anything like feminist. But I'm saying like a female to another female. It is hard. In my middle 40s being, you know, burnt in the past. Even trying to help people. But let me, let me assure you. God sees every bit of that, not as works of the flesh, but he sees that as works of the heart <clears throat> that you're doing for him. We are the arms and the legs and the face, the smile, the eyes, the ears. We are representatives of Christ. So then why in the world would I want to flip someone off in traffic with a Jesus bumper sticker on my truck. You know what I'm saying? That that realization came to me when I did it. And I felt so embarrassed. It was awful. I thought, what if these people... That's, that's what they saw on the back of my truck. As I'm driving off, giving them the finger... And I don't know. I, I can't explain why it happened, but it did. But I just don't didn't want to to smear and smudge his name like that. I thought they that's the last thing they saw when they saw me drive off was that bumper sticker. And now they think, oh, see, that's one of them Christians for you. I could have I could just hear it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, anyway, that's my ramble. I wanted to show you guys something because uh, as the devotion asked about looking back, <clears throat> he often uses critical faith moments in our life to accomplish the job. Well, what is the job? It's to draw you to him. Draw you to him. That He's a gentleman. He's not going to push himself on you and beat you over the brow with the Bible. No, he's waiting patiently for you. But sometimes that takes things bringing us down to our knees and being so broken that the only option we have is to reach up and just say, help me, Lord. And I want to show you, after I had went through my um, imprisonment, and done my, uh, paid the consequences for the choices that I had made and everything. And, and my children were back in my life and all of that. Uh, my youngest son, um, he was about 12, maybe 11, maybe between 10 and 12 at that time. And he is now getting ready to be 18. Um, he drew this. And this was before we were even seeking the Lord, like, I mean, on fire for the Lord. And I hope you guys can see this, okay? And it just says, to mom and Joe from Elijah. 
And this is Joe. He's got a little gun and it's got like arrow, it's got bullets. And then here's mom with bullets and I've got some long hair. And look who's in the middle, the devil. From the mouth of babes, guys. This was back in 2015, March the 14th. Even put it was a Saturday. Today's Saturday. And I do have this framed. However, I am um, trying to figure out ways to preserve it. <laughs> Just because it was such a moment for me. My children didn't get to know their biological father because he was taken, taken home when they were babies in a car accident. And um, that wasn't my moment. That wasn't my breaking moment. This child was diagnosed with kids brain with neuroblastoma at the age of eight months old, three months after his father died. That didn't break me. But I saw the faith of others. There was prayer. There was prayer from people. I didn't know what was going on. I had never experienced anything like that before. All I knew was that my child was leaving me. And this was going to lead us up to our next study. Um, John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave... His only begotten Son, so that whosoever shall believe in Him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. Wow. I just, I just remembered that. I did not. Thank you, Jesus. Because <laughs> He's so good. He's just good. All the time. I had a couple more questions to add to this video, but I'm not going to. I just want to thank you guys for subscribing and for sharing this journey with us because it's not easy trusting in the Lord. It's not. But we've all had our faith moments. And I'm, I will share mine with y'all. But this video is already 12 minutes and I'm so sorry. I don't want to take it much of your time. I just want y'all to know. He knows when we can't trust. And he knows when our faith is so weak. And that's why we need others praying for us. And asking for prayer when we need it. Prayer is so powerful, guys. And it only takes a little tiny bit of faith. And today, my faith in Him has grown. Do I trust Him completely? I want to say yes, but it's hard. Especially in those crucial moments. But we're journeying there. And we're going to get there. And we're going to have victory in it, guys. We are. Oh, so, I hope everyone has a great, great Saturday. Thank you so much for hanging on. If you held on this whole almost 15 minutes. And uh, just sharing our journey with us, guys. You don't know how much it means. This has been such a, he this is such a healing process for, for, for us, for me. For my depression, for others, depression, depression is just out there and stupid and it's done with it. Must go. I'm done. It's, everybody's done. So, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> anyway, I've had ugly crown video now and in, um, I'm not embarrassed because they're tears for the Lord. And, uh. I'm going to go in here and uh, try not to Martha today and uh, just try to adult and just love him and uh, got some praying to do for some people. But um, I love all you guys. Joe does too. He is just, 
he's watching and he's there he's here he's just at work all the time it seems and I just pray God lets up on him too but uh, he is such a great leader of this home and uh, of our marriage guys I love y'all and uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't please hit the like button I'm getting so I've got like over 6,000 views on videos and like I don't know if if you don't like the video that's fine push the down button but if you push that like button it kind of it helps the algorithms to maybe get this video to someone who needs it and that and God knows where it needs to go and he'll put it right where it needs to go so uh I'm glad you pushed play and um just have a blessed day. I pray God's face just shine upon you today. Thank you guys.